Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sharon. You can find me at Instagram as Sharon's Craft. Here I am mostly doing knitting and crocheting topics and projects. And today I have some finished object and some whips I am going to show you. So first of all, let me show you what I am wearing. So this is a um, summer cardigan and let me stand up and show you so this is what it looks like it's short it's just like a, see you can wear this like with a little black dress or something as a cover-up uh, and it will look really elegant and the way this cardigan is constructed is pretty pretty interesting I was looking for a tutorial in YouTube to, to do something like a very lacy summer cardigan and came up with this I will link the YouTube tutorial down below so that you can go have a look it's pretty interesting how it's constructed I really find it yeah it's really interesting so the yarn I use for this one is the yarn I bought from Hobium it's the Lamia Lux Mercerized Cotton I know it's going to be um, flip so you, but it's, it looked like this one sorry it is flipped so this um, is 100% cotton and the color number is 211 so it's this brown color and I used about uh, and this is also a 50 gram ball uh, mercerized cotton and there is 164 yards in one ball uh, I use about three and a half this is the fourth ball and I have this much left and this is the fifth ball so I haven't used this so I used about three and a half balls of this one and yeah it's pretty pretty neat it's very lazy that's how I wanted it very lazy and it's really nice just as a cover up if you're using like just like a little black dress or something so that's the first finished object I'm going to show you the second one I have is I am going to pull my mannequin here so, so this is the second finished object if you can see so this is using oops so this is using this um, hand dyed yarn from beef sugar yarn it is 100% superwash merino single ply fingering weight 100 gram the color weight is luck dragon the yardage is 400 yards this is machine wash cool hand washing preferred so I will link the Etsy shop below where I bought this so that's the color and that's how it looked like after it's worked out so this is a crochet crochet top like a t-shirt I really like it I used a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook to finish uh, to do this one honestly I, I like how it turned out so that's the second finish object the third finish object I'm going to show you is uh, from the last video lapgan a baby blanket afghan I don't know whatever you call it so it's this corner to corner blanket I have finished I have finished this so this is made using magic baby basic light um, I don't really 
remember the name of the yarn and then I ended it with this little ruffled side all around it this is also made wait no this one is made using another yarn the the cream color the off-white color is just scrap yarn that I have and it was enough to finish the border so I'm glad and yeah so this is done so that's the third finished object I'm going to show you just going to throw that to one side another finished object I have is this sweater this man's sweater it is finally done I have been working on this for two months it's finally done I'm super happy that's the ribbing with my hands super super happy with this and I have one last finish object uh, you might not have seen this from the previous video because I made this uh, after I recorded that one so it's this top I actually love this this is made using as you can see it's also like t-shirt So this is made using the Lion Brand Trubu yarn. The yarn, uh, I don't really remember the color, but I know that this color here, this one, this purpley color here is mushroom. Um, the other two, I don't really remember the color. I am trying to use, I was trying to see how the yarn will work up. And I really love how it turned out and it gave this uh, sweater a kind of like a weight so that it's, you know, you actually look pretty nice in this, this top. But then um, my mother claimed this so now this is hers. Oh, that's how it looked like so that's the fourth finish object this little dolly I was trying to make a really cute fun video in Instagram so uh, using the, she's made using all the scrap yarn that I have I have a lot of scrap yarn left so I can probably make a few more so that she can have a friend she doesn't have a name yet so far, I have just um, knitted like a little shirt here for her and a sh shorts, knitted shorts. I am going to make her socks next and a cardigan. I want to, to finish her with a cardigan and she will be done. So what do you think? I have another doll. Probably I can show you what it looked like. Hold on. So, this is another one that I made for my daughter uh, last year. And my daughter loved this doll. That's how she looked like. She have her little dress and this is her legging. Yeah. So now she have a friend. So this is the next one. All right. So that's I consider this a half finished object because I have not finished her cardigan, her socks. So this is um, not full finished object. And next, I'm going to show you my next whip that I'm working on, which is.
this is just um, I'm just knitting up like plain uh, gutter stitch and I this is going to be a scarf because I wanted to make a scarf I wanted to add pockets at the end and this is going to be used in the office where I am uh, where it's super chilly most times and I really love how it turned out I love the color it's just a gray like heather color you can see it's just garter stitch and this is made using the red heart fashion soft this is uh, just one skein i have not moved on to the next skein yet i have th um, three all together i think it'll be enough and this is the first skein and this is i have this much left to finish this so i have two more so i am i think it's they'll be pretty good a pretty good size scarf so that's what i'm working on and i have the last whip that I'm going to show you, I actually have another whip which is a, another blanket, an adult blanket, a queen size blanket but I have not worked on that at all so there's nothing to show you there if you would like to see what that whip is, you can see uh, you can go and look at my previous episode where I show you that blanket so this is the third whip that I have worked on but uh, not a lot I've and this is what I'm this is going to be a sweater it's a knitted sweater it's just plain stockinette stitch but I like this yarn this was the last time where I'm at when I show you that's where I'm at I have worked it that much but it's taking me quite a while Knitting is usually taking quite a while for me because I am a slow knitter and this is made using one of the ice yarn um, Lorena 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 print yeah. And that's how much I've done so so that's How much I've done so now I just have to move this move this up there so there are markers over there now so we will see how's my progress for the next episode hopefully I have more done okay so that's my last whip I'm not working on anything else right now I am just working on this three so this sweater and then my scarf my scarf and this little doll so so that's all i have for you uh, i do have some yarn haul but i probably will do that in another video uh, i have one i have bought a there's two boxes right now that I have. One is from Knit Crate. The other one is from an Etsy seller. Oh, you guys probably have heard of this Etsy seller. It's TP3 uh, Yarns. TP3 Yarns. So I have some yarns from her which was on sale and I bought some. So I will show that to you in the next video and you can just uh, wait for that video and you see the yarn haul I have especially I was super happy with my knit crate order because the yarn is just so soft and really delicious you should, you should see that so that's all I have for today uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye